Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, and today we're reading from Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. As hard as it is to believe, is true. The authorities that exist have been ordained by God. So what God is saying is respect the police officers and the elected leaders. Every one of them. Because they're in God's will. We may not understand how. We certainly may not agree with everything that they legislate and all the rules they enact and all the governing principles they live by and work by. And if it's contrary to Scripture, we should not obey it because we must obey God rather than man if it comes down to that. But other than that, obey the laws of the land. It's your duty. To God. And you don't have to like the people in authority, but you need to respect them because they are in authority. They need to be obeyed and respected because of their position, not because of their personal conduct, because that's not the issue. And if you have the power, like we do in this country, I guess, to vote them out. If the elections are not rigged, then vote them out. We have the opportunity in America, the constant Constitution gives us the right to petition our government, to redress our government because we don't like certain things, to protest peacefully. We have the right to do that. Take advantage of all that. It's all part of the laws of the land, too. But obey the laws of the land. Verse 2. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. So when we are punished for breaking the law of the land, or maybe even a law at work, you disobey your supervisor or your boss or the owner, and you suffer for it. Actually, you're being punished for rebelling against the authority that God has established. Now, again, I must say, carefully, and listen to this, please. If the law does not insist that we go against Scripture, then we have to obey it. Or we ourselves are going against Scripture. Never ever obey a rule, a law, that commands you to do something that is contrary to Scripture. Otherwise, obey the law of the land. And study all of God's Word with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, and that's found at the Bible, versebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Scripture verse by verse, you can be, by praying for me and God's Word. Please do it right now while you're thinking about it, and write a note, put it on your refrigerator door. Every time you see it, you'll pray for me again, I hope. And also when you take a break from studying God's Word with me at the Bible verse by verse.com, go to the front page and click the donate button. And prayerfully give as the Lord may lead, because that also makes you a part of this ministry. Thanks for studying God's word with me. See you next time.